know what can manage to manage Just telling you know I'm a savage Fought from the average, who's up for the challenge I got the whole package, I wanna live lavish Beamons and Bentleys and Grammy appearances I'm not a human, I'm just an experiment Built for destruction, that's human combustion I'm blowing your mind with these drums, only hearing it I think it's time to get paid Don't give a fuck what you say Hustling every day, cause how can you live off a minimum wage? How can you do what you wanna get done When the government don't want you part of that one? one per Hey, what's good, Power Squad? It's your boy Meezy back with another reaction. How you doing? Hey, so man, I just listened to Shoddy Horror's uh, uh, Consequences on his new EP, and man, that shit was fire. It's like a story, and he's dragging you on, pulling you, cliffhangers, all that. Definitely here for Dave's Dilemma. I really hope I'm going in order, bro. I hope I'm going in order. If not, my bad. But definitely wants to, it's like reading a book. Each chapter, he's doing chat. Each song is a different chapter, and you're like, shit, I gotta listen to the next song to hear, see what happens next. You know what I mean, Gene, yes, Shoddy, you're a genius. All right. Hopefully, one day we can work together for real. For real, I, I respect you. I, I respect you as a battle rapper. Now I'm getting into your your writing, your storytelling skills, bro. And you, yes, bro. All right. So this is Dave's dilemma. We now, I still don't know who Dave is. But he was brought up in the last track, so I'm kind of caught up, but still waiting. Got Dave's Dilemmas, and then later on, it's like Ricardo's Keys. And I know who Ricardo is now because of the last track. We're about to get into this. I'm excited. I, I feel like I need some popcorn or something. This is like a freaking uh, audio book or a t I don't know. You know what I mean? But we're going to get into this. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Consider subscribing. Uh, we're going to just jump right in. Shout you up again. Let's get it. <laughs> School type beats, I love it. Hey, I got two whips and a nice family next. I got two kids and a wife I have to protect. Uh -huh. I'm the average guy at work in a bank at a desk. If you cash it, you checks, I'm there at your request. But since we're being honest, I feel sad and depressed. I think my marriage is dead, and I got gambling debts. Uh -huh. I borrowed money from my gangster just to bang on a bet. It was only 50 grand, but then they added the rest. Oh, I, oh, I hope I'm going in order. I feel like I. Just hearing that, I feel like I'm not going in order right now. But like he said, I uh, I feel like this one was first, explaining who he is, who who Dave is, and uh, I think I fucked up. But like <laughs> he's like, I got a wife, two kids, you know what I mean? I got a gambling problem. I borrowed some money from a gangster. It was only fifty, but they added the rest. I think this one was first. I think this one was first. I think I just messed up. Damn it. After this video, I'm gonna stop and wait to see the comments so you guys can tell me the uh, order so that I can get it right. I feel like this one's first. He explains who he is. Are you Dave, Shoddy? Did I? Am I making myself look stupid here? Are you Dave? Because whatever. But introducing that and then going into the story. So now this explains how he got involved with the cartel, which is what we just heard about. Oh, all right. So now I gotta pay a hundred back. How the fuck can I come up with that? I gotta think of something fast. Bro, Yesterday I brought my little son a bubble bath and couldn't find him anywhere. I wonder where he put it dash. Uh. Walk to the front to see him standing with another man. Guy had gloves on, something in his duffel bag. Gave my son a tie gun and told him to go bust his dad. Told me that I got a couple weeks or else he's coming back. The shit got to me bad. I hit the sh Damn, he gave his son a toy gun. Said, go shoot your dad. He probably did it, you know, having fun. He's like, you got two weeks or I'm coming back. And I'm pretty sure next time it's not going to be a toy gun. He's going to give him a real one. But hey, go shoot your dad. Wow. Shop a bar, every lock that he had. I put cameras on the walls and in the parts with the plants. I didn't know technology had gone so advanced for shit. Every pop of a bank. Every time my wife was dropping her pants. Every time I saw a new car pull up on the block of his prank. I knew the cops wasn't an option at hand. Shit. I remember this combo I had. With my wife's rubble when we shared a bottle of Jack He said with my job, I should be robbing a bank And he concocted a plan I just nodded and laughed <laughs> Yeah, robbing it, yeah But wait Maybe that could be the saving grace Maybe we could empty out the safe Pay the day and keep the change Pack our shit up and escape I can't tell him the predicament And man, he needs to stay in the dark He could tell my wife the truth And that could tear us apart I know he's got the heart to do it It's just where do we start? I told him, yo, I'm gonna pick you up wherever you want uh. We made a plan He would show up to the bank in a mask Grab me by the throat Then he brandished his strap Rough me up and tell me Put the fucking cash in the bag 
and then he flips. And so then they're gonna make it look like he was taken. <laughs> He's like, I gotta figure out a way to like, I can't just tell my family what's going on. I gotta figure out a way to get them to just, you know, leave with me and without asking questions. He's like, me and my boy came up with a plan. <laughs> so he's gonna hold me up at a at somewhere, what do you say, bank or something? Ask him, like, make it seem like he was robbed or taken or something. I see where you're going with this, bro. Hold on. He would show us to the bank and the mask. Grab me by the throat, then he brandies you strapped with a whip and tell me put the fucking cash in the bag. And then he splits, and then we split the pot. Uh -huh. It takes meticulous precision now to trick the cop. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. So that's how they're planning on robbing the bank. He's like, he must work there or something, and uh, or he's gonna hold him hostage, and they're gonna use him, put the money in the bag, and after he gets all the money, they're they're gonna split that, you know what I mean? Because they're in it together. I get it. I won't call them until you're driven off. Then don't call me until it isn't hot. Uh. The day came faster than I thought it would. I clocked him for my shift like I normally would. Deposited the quid for Mr. Hollywood. Finished with him, saw my wife's brother start walking up. He pulled the gun from the back of his jeans. He held it by the barrel as he swung and smashed in my cheek. I'm gasping a breathe. Didn't think I'd actually bleed. But they're watching, and this is shit they have to believe. He told me. Really open, I'm a poor slug in your chest. And don't you dare push that fucking button under the desk. It's like he did this shit before. I was fucking impressed. I mean. Don't fucking do was a cop in the queue. I guess it's one of them days he told him. All right, so things ain't going right. Yo, he's so good at telling stories, but this is ridiculous, bro. He said he went in, so I guess he works at the bank, all right? He works at the bank, and he's like, so he was gonna make it seem like he just got robbed, and he wasn't gonna call the cops until he knew you were long gone. Don't call me back till you know it's not hot anymore. So he's like, all right, so the days come, I clock in like a regular day. Uh, he comes in, grabs the barrel of the gun, Hits me in my face. He's like, I didn't think I'd actually bleed. Just like, damn, you didn't actually really have to hit me like that. But he's like, I get it. Cameras, people watching, they have to believe it. It has to look believable. But then as he's telling me, you know, to put the money in the bag, a cop was there. It was like, hey, freeze. They was not expecting a cop to be there. He's like, just one of those days. Wow. So good at telling stories. It's ridiculous. A cop in the queue. I guess it's one of them days he told him. Put this gun down unless you want to be brave. The guy looked right at me and he wasn't the same. He turned around and shot the cop in the face. Then took the cop in the stage. I was questioned at the hospital. They don't think I did it, but they recognize possible. I don't want to see no more detectives with a coffee cup. Popping up, stressing me, begging me for a follow-up. I'm free of go. Speeding home. I think we did it. Keep it low. Secret phone. I feel like this is about to take a crazy twist. That's why I'm not pausing. I'm just like waiting right now. Well, since I did pause, he's like, all right, well, um, he, something changed. He was like, he looked at me and something seemed different. Like he was off and he turned around, shot the cop in the face, took the money and dipped. He's like at the hospital. They thought they were asking me questions, thinking I had, I knew something, I had something to do with it. It was, you know, I mean, they said they didn't think I had anything to do with it, but it's possible. He's like, I'm tired of all these detectives with coffee mugs asking me questions. Uh, da, da, da. He's like, I'm free to go, going home. You know what I mean? Like, you're not arresting me, I'm free to go type shit. But I feel like it's about to twist. Let's see. I'm free to go, speeding home. I think we did it. Keep it low, secret phone, speaking cold. I phone you when it's over in around a week or so. So. That was like a week ago. Wait. Yep. See? Played his life. Played him. Dang. Oh, Dave. Um. Look, I don't know how else to say this, so I'm just gonna come out with it. I'm not coming back, and I'm keeping all the money. All right. So you are Dave. Shotty. Don't mind the last video when I was asking who the fuck is Dave. You are Dave, okay? Shot cop. I can't come back. To be quite frank, I don't think you need this money. You and my sister live in a big house with cars. On one time, if you guys ever helped me out, the only time you ever called me was to rob a fucking bank, Dave. If you're listening to this, I'm on a beach somewhere Dipping a nice drink Reading a book And uh From the bottom of my heart, Dave Oh, fuck
fuck yourself. Hey, yo. What the fuck? All right, so that just answered so many different questions because of the uh, last track, the consequences track in the middle of it, it switched over to this tropical sounding place and you know, he had the ice clinking and he was like, hey, I'm here at the beach. And it ties in with this because he's like, hey, if you're hearing this, I'm probably on a beach somewhere chilling, reading a book, having a drink. It's crazy how he just tied. It's only been two tracks and he already laced them in together perfectly. I can't, oh man, I have to, tomorrow I'm gonna finish the other three. I promise you, I'm not gonna do any other reactions. I'm gonna finish the other three. Just today, got shit to do. But definitely, definitely, definitely fire shot. If you're watching this, bro, fire, 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 fire. Creep, taking me for the ride, like, it's, it's crazy. But if you like my reaction, let me know by giving me that greatest thumbs up. Subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff. Check out some of my music. Uh, my new album is dropping soon, it's called War. Don't want to miss it, trust me. If you never heard me rap, go to my playlist section, check out some of my stuff, catch up a little bit, all right? I appreciate you guys being here with me always, and I'll see you in the comments, all right? Peace. I